Hey guys, I am finally doing the Q&A that I promised like a month ago. I am sorry it's taken so long, but you know what? I'm finally doing it, so here it is. And I promise I'm gonna get better on these Q&As. I don't know, I was gonna do it last time, didn't get around to it, and I felt kind of bad, but I'm usually good with the Q&As. Like I asked you to ask you questions, and then like a few days later, it's up, it's ready to go, but. And then I was lagging this month, so sorry girl, but it is gonna be out right now. So let's do this. I asked you guys a month ago to ask me questions online and you guys did and I'm gonna answer them today. Okay, let's start with Snapchat like always. Thank God Snapchat saves the snaps, cause like the snaps you send me, cause otherwise, girl, uh -oh. I feel so bad if they got deleted, but okay, let's get started. Okay, Ooh, I wanna see your faces, I can't wait, okay. Oh my gosh, girl. I'm gonna put the volume all the way up so I can hear you and you can hear each other, okay. First one is by It's Keisha Nine. Hey girl. Hey Michaela, I was just wondering what is one of your favorite Bath & Body Works perfumes because I can't find any that's good for me, so yeah. Oh hey girl, you're gorgeous living for you already. We're like twins, hi. Okay. Favorite Bath and Body Works perfumes. Oh my gosh, well do you want, it depends what you like. Like do you like um, comforting neutral scents? Do you like the fall stuff, like the pumpkin stuff? Do you like sweet? Do you don't like, I mean it depends what you like. We have to have a little conversation here, girl. But I will do like one of each so you'll, okay. If you want just something kind of like clean, like a clean like neutral scent, I would do Seal and Cotton, Warm Vanilla Sugar, um, if you want something like luxurious, I would do Cashmere Glow. Um, or like A Thousand Wishes. If you want like girly and perfumey, like A Thousand Wishes or like Sweet Pea. Um, if you want something like seasonal stuff, like I would say in the fall, I would do uh, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Um, you know, if you want something like marshmallowy. But yeah, I would say like a safe bet would be either Sweet Pea, A Thousand Wishes, Japanese Tray Blossom, Seattle and Cotton, Warm Vanilla Sugar. I mean, you can't go wrong with those. So there you go. And uh, hit me up on Snapchat if you want like specific like categories. And I'll give you like, like if you want like favorite fall or favorite like pumpkin-y or favorite like sweet, you know what I mean? Like sugary, like yeah. Let me know and I, we, we can talk on Snapchat in detail. Yeah. But yeah, I hope that helped. Thanks for your question, girl. My little twinny, my little twin from another state. <laughs> okay, next one is by Jenna on Snapchat. Hey Michaela, um, what's one makeup product that you can't live without? Hey girl, hey Jenna. Okay, one makeup product I cannot live without I would definitely have to say, I've talked about this before, my Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer. I just love it so much and I haven't had it for over a year. I've been like, yeah, I love a good concealer. If you have a good concealer, like you're just good to go. Like you look hot no matter what, you know? So definitely that, um, that one. And I would have to say my second choice would be my last camera flashes by Tarte Mascara. It just makes my eyes look Always. <laughs> I cannot live without that for sure. As well. Okay. So a good mascara and a, a good concealer and you're good to go. <laughs> That's my two must-haves. Sean, let's see. Favorite Bath & Body Works scents. You guys are living for these Bath & Body Works questions. I love it. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Okay. Favorite, okay, my all-time favorite. God, you see, it's changed. Okay. I'm gonna say, honestly, right now, my number one favorite Bath & Body Works scent would have to be brown sugar, okay, pear and brown sugar, oh my God, what is that called? Golden pear and brown sugar for sure is my number one favorite scent right now. It smells like pump, uh, no, it smells like apple pie on Thanksgiving. It just smells so comforting and nice. Also. Um, marshmallow pumpkin latte is amazing. Um, but like an all year round scent, I would say warm vanilla sugar and Japanese cherry blossom. There you go. <laughs> For like all year round. Okay. 
Shelby Fisher. Hey girl, let's see what you have to ask Michaela. Okay, please answer in Q&A. What is your favorite food? Hey girl. She's a cutie pie. Uh, do you have any pets? And do you collect anything? Aw, oh, she's a cutie pie. And favorite store. Okay, favorite store, definitely Bath & Body Works and Torrid and Target. I collect Bath & Body Works stuff. Aw, thanks. She said I'm so pretty. Isn't she a sweetheart? Favorite food, I would have to say pizza. And she loves my videos. Isn't she a doll? Um, yeah. Oh, she's so cute. So favorite stores are Bath & Body Works, uh, Torrid, and Target. Three, three favorite stores for sure. Favorite food, I like mac and cheese and I also like pizza. Do I, and I collect Bath & Body Works for sure. Uh, at this point, because I am just have so much stuff from Bath & Body Works. And I'll be doing an updated collection in January. So, letting you guys know. Hey. Um, and then, what, oh god, I see, I forgot what else you asked me. Ah, I'm sorry if I forgot. I, um, I should have answered them right away, huh? Oh, you know what? There we go. Let's see, let's see if I forgot anything. Favorite food, I already answered that one. Oh, do any pets? Uh, I don't have, I do not have any pets. And I collect space stories. Or okay, there we go. Oh, good, I answered all your questions, okay. I wanted to repeat it so I make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, yeah, I don't have any pets, but I guess me and my best friend, Nadi, we co-parent Cinnamon Chanel Dolce, or Cinnamon Dolce Chanel. Let me get her name right. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I guess she's my pet too. Okay, so now let's go to um, Instagram. Let's go to Instagram. Okay. Oh my gosh. Girl, all these questions on Instagram, girl. Okay. Lupe underscore Blanco underscore Salazar. I would love to see you with straight hair. Will you ever straighten it? Ugh, this is, I get asked this every day about my straight hair. Honestly, I've been thinking about it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I look better with wavy hair. But, I don't know. I have to be really bored and then maybe I'll just like straighten it one day and I don't know, we'll see. Okay, snap cakes one, two, four. If you could be any celebrity for a day, who would you be and what would you do? This has actually been asked several times, by the way. Okay, let's see, it's a public question. Uh, but, but would, if it would be any celebrity, that's a hard one, I don't know. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, this is what I would do. I would be Zac Efron, you know why? because then I would put my own number in his phone and I would just make myself obsessed with Michaela. So then when I'm not Zac Efron anymore, I will be, he will be obsessed with Michaela and then he will call me and he will date me and then that, and then we can, and I'll be Mrs. Efron because I'll, he'll marry me. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do, there we go. <laughs> I love him, he's my babe. Okay. <laughs> Okay, sunrays underscore moonbeam, moonbeams. You are such an inspiration for me. I've lost, I, I've been on a weight loss journey so far. I've lost about 20 pounds. I was wondering, do you have any, do you have a goal weight? And during your weight loss journey, what kept you inspired to keep going? Love you, love you too. Goal weight, um, it used to be like 172. Right now I'm like 185. I've gained a few pounds of muscle back because um, I was like 180 at one point. Um, Right now, I don't really have a goal weight. I just want to stay below 200 for sure. Like so, that's my goal: stay underneath 200, stay in the sizes that I have, that I am now, which is like double zero in toward jeans, large in pants, and like double zeros and zeros for tops and like stuff like that. Sweaters, uh, toward sizes, of course, um, and large in shirts. I want to stay in the clothes that I bought recently. I want to stay. I don't want to like get bigger and like my clothes don't fit anymore. So that's my goal. Yeah, not really a number on a scale. As long as I'm under 200, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm healthy and I'm happy. Um, and what kept me going and inspired? Um, gosh, 
honestly, like, the more I weighed I lost, the more better I looked and the better I felt and the better and, like, the happier I got. Um, so that just kept me going. I would see my, like, stomach getting smaller, my arms and my legs and everything getting smaller. My face was getting thinner and I was like, oh my god! And I just, like, that kept me going for sure. Buying new clothes, like, buying sizes that I haven't bought in God knows how long. Just crazy, you know? Like, fitting into things that I never thought I would ever fit into. Like, that definitely kept me going for sure. I don't know, I love you guys. Okay, uh, and congratulations on you losing your 20 pounds. That's awesome, and keep going, girl. You can do it. Okay, next question. Jelly Bean Haley 12 Besides YouTube, what is your other job, or do you work? Love your vids, girl. XOXO heart. Love you, too. Um, I don't have another job. YouTube is pretty much my full-time hobby. I don't really call it a job. I would say it's my full-time hobby. Um, I consider being a personal diva my job. Okay, girl. <laughs> um, yeah. And I don't work, but I work it, honey. Okay, that's what I always say when people ask me. I don't work, girl. I work it. Okay, girl. So, yeah. Uh, next question. Kin K93, what are your five favorite, oh, top five favorite movies? Okay, ready for this one? My friends know what this is, okay. Number one, Mean Girls. Love it. I grew up on that movie, just it'll always have a special place in my heart. I can quote it, love it. Okay, number two, Titanic. Makes me cry every single time, I love it. I'm gonna put Notebook in top five. Um, Cruel Intentions. Oh my god. Just everything. And then number five, Clueless. Oh, of course, Clueless. Those are my top five, but I could list so many others. But those are my top five, I would say, that I always rewatch. Um, okay. Sarah.paco, number one, what slash who motivates you? You guys motivate me. Honestly, when I don't feel like filming, like, just honestly, oh. Every time I like don't feel like filming, I think of you guys and like, oh, I feel like filming. Like you guys motivate me to keep going when it comes to just everything. Um, losing weight, maintaining weight, filming videos, uploading, just, I think, you know what? I can't wait to talk to my subscribers, my, my viewers, my diva squad, and I wanna see you guys, so I'm gonna film. And that keeps me going, so there you go. What career do you want to pursue? Um, hmm. Other than being a professional diva, of course. <laughs> I don't know. Career I want to pursue. Honestly, I want to be on Big Brother UK. I really want to be on Big Brother UK to the fact that I might audition for it. So. Let me know what you think I should do. Do you think I should be a, I, I don't like the US Big Brother. No, I don't like it. I've watched it, I don't like it. I like UK Big Brother a lot. Like, to the point, I'm obsessed with it. As you guys know, it's always one of my favorites. I love it. So, I wanna be on Big Brother UK, okay? So I'm thinking about auditioning. I don't know if I should audition for the next season or the season after, I don't know. That's my goal, I wanna be on that show. And I think I'm gonna send them on a, an audition tape. So, yeah. I wanna be a reality star, to be honest. I know that sounds so superficial, but like, I just think my life, I need cameras following me, and I need to be on TV. Like, I, I know that sounds really like narcissistic, but I just wanna be on TV. Like, this needs to be on TV. That's all I got to say, okay. <laughs> do you want kids? Yes, I do. I want a little girl. I do. Um, okay, how do you lose so much weight and what motivated you to lose the weight? Okay, um, how I would say in the beginning, just massive lifestyle change. Um, I used to just pack it in, girl. I would eat fast food like three times a week and I would eat out, I would eat out every day. And I would just eat all the time, horrible foods. Yeah, I didn't know what small, medium was. I always had large and everything. Do you want large fries? Yes. Do you want large shake? Yes. Do you want large? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I stopped doing that. I stopped, I cut fast food completely out of my diet. I ate vegetables, fruits. The first few months I went vegan and oh my God, if you want to go vegan, of course, 
you know, for other reasons too. But if you just want to like lose a lot of weight, go go vegan for a few months. The pounds will shed off. I'm telling you. I went vegan for a few months last year. Girl, the weight was like slid off. I was like, yes. Of course, um, vegan isn't for me, so I went back to eating meat and dairy. But yeah, I'm just saying, if you want to lose about 20 pounds or more, go vegan. Uh, that's my advice on that for sure. Um, how many languages do you speak? Just one. Well, two. Actually, um, I would say two. No, three. English, um, sarcasm, and diva. So, three languages. <laughs> okay, uh, next question is from EXRUJ. Have you ever had a boyfriend? Ooh, I have mostly long distance. I'm um, scratching my leg. Um, mostly long distance. Um, a few in person, obviously. Um, never had a long-term relationship. I have dated a lot of, um, polite way of saying it, cheaters and liars in my life. So I took a break for a couple of years. Um, but you know what? I'm open-minded. I'm totally looking for someone now. So if you know anybody, if you guys have a hot brother or like a cousin or someone who is into this, then send them my way. <laughs> Wow. Okay, that was a little thirsty, wasn't it? Okay. Um, okay. How did having your first kiss go? It went pretty well, I would say. I'm actually a really good kisser, I think. So, yeah. Okay. Devin Bug 15 what inspired you to lose weight? And you're such an inspiration. Aw, thank you. And I've lost a couple of pounds since watching you be strong. Oh, congratulations, girl. Yes. I mean, I like fierce since I realized, girl. Um, what inspires me, like I said, you guys and just looking fierce. Um, SJJM, hi, really love your videos. My question is when you were a larger girl to now being a small lady, have you noticed do people treat you differently? I've been asked that before. Um, you know what? I don't really see much of a difference. I would say more people compliment me now. You know, like I get more, girl, you look good, or damn, you look good, but that maybe that's because I've lost this weight. And they're like, oh my gosh. I get more of that. You know what? A lot more girls, and this sounds really conceited, but it's true, I promise. A lot more girls, they stop me in the street and they're like, you look so pretty. Like strangers will do that. I'm like, thank you. Like, like literally, they'd be like, on their phone, it's like, okay, like, maybe like last week, I was, I was, she, this girl was on the phone, I passed by, she was like, oh my god, you look so pretty. I'm like, oh, thanks. Like, I swear, I know that sounds like, I'm not making that up, I promise, I'm not making that up. Like, it's happened a bunch of times in the past year, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, but, yeah, so I guess it must be working, girl, because, hey. Um, so I guess other than that, um, yeah. Next question is, what what would your idea of a dream date be? Location, take place in the day or night, etc. Okay, dream dates. Oh my gosh. Okay, dream dates. Honestly, it's changed. Like honestly, I'm so low maintenance when it comes to a date. Like, just like I just want to hang out and like cuddle and like watch movies. Like I'm so chill. Like, yeah, I'm just super chill. But I would love a guy to plan a date, you know, and then we just, and he surprises me, like that would be really nice. Just being with him, you know, I'm really, uh, day or night, I would say night, yeah. Um, location, maybe his house, like just cuddling, watching Netflix or like a movie. Okay, I think that's it for Instagram, so now let's go to... Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I, I um, screenshotted on Snapchat a bunch of your questions. Let me do that actually really quick before I forget. Layla on Snapchat. Hi, Michaela. I was wondering, do you attend college? And if you do, what do you study? I don't. But if I did, it would be something fashion or makeup or like diva really, really related. <laughs> like, is there a college class on how to be fierce? Because I should teach that. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, okay, next is from Michelle Godinez, five. Um, where do you mostly get your makeup, high-end and not so high-end? P.S. I love you so much, take care, I love you too. Okay, I would say I get my makeup, okay, high-end and not so high-end. I honestly get it everywhere. Target, the beauty section of Target, Ulta, Sephora, I would say mostly Sephora, no, I'm sorry, mostly Ulta these days, Ulta and Walgreens are the two places I usually get it, but you can get it anywhere. You can get it Walmart, Target, any drugstore, CVS, Walgreens, Sephora, I mean you can get anywhere. Dollar Tree, no, recently I've been doing a lot of Dollar Tree 99 cent store makeup and it's just beautiful. So there you go, there you have it. Um, okay, and then, oh, Sponge Bobby OE. Uh, do you have any piercings slash tattoos? P.S. Love you, love you too, love you more. Piercings ta slash tattoos, I do not have any piercings or tattoos. I just never got into it, so I never did any of those things, so yeah. Okay, and that's it for Snapchat and Instagram. Now let's do, I don't believe I have any Twitter questions, so let me just go to Facebook and see what's popping on my Facebook. Lizette Etizel says, complete the sentence, I wish, I wish I would be on Big Brother <laughs> UK. <laughs> I'm so bad. Okay, uh, the same person asks, what would you do if you would be invisible? Oh honey, what wouldn't I do? Honestly, this is so bad, but I would literally mess with people who I don't like. That <laughs> sounds so bad. <laughs> like all my enemies, I would just be like, I don't know, messing with their lives. That, that sounds horrible, but I would. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Yeah, maybe spy on my crush, I don't know. Silly things like that. What is the one thing you want to experience before you die? Be on Big Brother UK. <laughs> <laughs> and then Rhonda Frain asks, if you had one superpower, what would it be and why? Mm. I guess I want to know the future. I mean, that can, be, that can be a blessing or a curse, but I would want to know the future. And invisibility, because it would be fun to mess with people, like I said. Yeah, um, and why? Because... I just, I'm always wondering what the future entails. And then I'll know, you know. And invisibility because who wouldn't want to be invisible so they could just like do what they want, you know. <laughs> and Rhonda asks, as a member of the Diva Squad, share your wisdom in finding the perfect holy grail concealer. I love you, girl. <laughs> holy grail concealer, honey. Okay. Go to Sephora, cap on D, tattoo, lock it, concealer. You're good to go, trust me. You won't look back. And then, drugstore, I will say, mm, really anything from the drugstore works. L'Oreal or CoverGirl, yeah. Okay, uh, that's it, I think, yeah, for questions. So, I believe that's everything. So thank you to everyone who asked me a question, and I'll be doing these Q&As once a month. I really wanna do more of these Q&As because they're just so much fun to do. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to become a member of the Diva Squad, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.